Hey everyone, exciting news. I finally took the plunge and got myself a 3D printer. So let me tell you why and let me show you some of the things that I have 3D printed. Now the big reason why I bought is because a lot of the gadgets that I've been showing you don't have any cases. Here in the Philippines, it's not easy to find an affordable 3D printing service, which means ordering online from places like Etsy can get expensive really fast. For example, a case for the Flipper Wi-Fi dev board can cost around $15, and then you add another $20 for shipping if it's coming from America or Europe, making it a total of $35. The printer I bought Elegant Neptune 4 was around $200, so that one case already costs almost 20% of the printer's price. And that's why if you're from the Philippines and need some 3D prints, I really think you should consider buying your own 3D printer instead of ordering from overseas. Now let me show you some of the first thing that I have printed. I'll put the links to all of the design files in the description down below. You might also notice that what I have printed, everything is red and teal and those are the Hakista colors. And that's another cool thing of having your own 3D printer. You can choose any color that you want. Now, First up is the case for the ESP32 C3 Super Mini by Akustoba, which I found on Thingiverse. Now, it is a really snug fit as you can see here, and I'm a little worried I might break the case if I try to take the ESP32 out. But what I do like with it is that I can still put it, it's still slim enough that I can put it on my Altoids EDC and it still fits. Next, I printed a rugged case for the M5 Stick C Plus 2. By, this one is by Dissident, you can, you can find on Maker World. As you can see, it added some necessary bulk to the M5 Stick C Plus 2, but still quite small. And it also has a spot to attach the carrot thinner, so I can clip it into my bag. Now, another great feature of it is that all of the buttons, as you can see here, is still readily accessible and you can easily click on all of those buttons. And lastly, I printed an awesome case for the card pewter, as you can see here. This is by Basil that you can find on Colts 3D. This is the only case that I've found that the keyboard is open, which is exactly what I wanted. Most other cases that you can see is just a cover for the front and the back. This one fits perfectly. And you can even put a screen protector underneath this if you want it. And all of the buttons are very very easy to get to and it doesn't make the card pewter much more bigger. So there you have it. My first step into the world of 3D printing and I'm only thinking about the next thing that I would like to print. Like for example, this one is for my hacker F and this one is for my flipper zero. Do you have any suggestions that you want me to print or try out? let me know in the comments down below. And if you're thinking into getting a 3D printer too, I hope I have gave you some very, very good insight. So always remember, keep on hacking my fellow hackista.